so enthused. Yeah, I made you get a little bit more enthused about it. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but <laughs> for the past 25 years, I ain't really been an enthusiastic person. No, you sure have <laughs> That's why I don't like doing nothing with you. You always play too doggone much. Go on, do it. Go on, do it. Clean the glasses. They're dirty. Well, you need some wipes right there. I mean, I have to get up. <laughs> I sure ain't getting up. So you be taking too many outtakes just for the intro. That's the hardest part. Sure. Welcome back to our channel. We are back with Game of Thrones. Right? Yes. Game of Thrones. Uh, it is episode four. four. We we were watching episode four. So as you guys can see, I am hanging in there. Episode four, but you know, four episodes is not right. Sometimes it's a struggle to get her in front of this camera. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, and we're going to go ahead. Be a flashback or something. You're welcome. <laughs> that dog don't like yeah, you, Mom. Don't want to see you. Lord of Winterfell. It means I do what he says and you do what I say. Oh, dog. Oh, dog. Help Bran down the hall. Oh, dog. I must say I received a slightly warmer welcome on my last visit. Any man of the Night's Watch is welcome at Winterfell. Man of the Night's Watch, but not I, eh, boy? I'm not your boy, Lannister. I'm Lord of Winterfell while my father is away. You might learn a Lord's courtesy. Hello, Bran. Do you remember anything about what happened? He has no memory of that day. <laughs> you like to ride, Bran? Yes. Well, I mean, I did like to. The boy has lost the use of his legs. What of it? With the right horse and saddle, even a cripple can ride. I'm not a cripple. Then I'm not a dwarf. Give that to your saddler. He'll provide the rest. You must shape the horse to the rider. Start with a yearling and teach it to respond to the reins and to the boy's voice. Will I really be able to ride? To any of them. Is this some kind of trick? Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart for crippled bastards and broken things. Seven hours is that? <laughs> They'll need an eight-hour to fit him in. <laughs> Tell them your name. Samuel Tarley of Horn Hill. I mean, I was of Horn Hill. <coughs> I've come to take the black. Right. See what he can do. Oh, 
asshole. Yield it. Looks like the bastard's in low. to do this? No. You're gonna have to defend yourself. Why didn't you get up and fight? I wanted to. I just couldn't. Why not? Think we're cowards too. Too stupid to be a coward. You're too stupid to be a... Quick now, before summer's over. <laughs> Buy his stuff, Rag. City of the Horse Lord. These are my people I really now. don't like him, though. I shouldn't call them no, sons. I'll call them what I like because they're my people. Not a good person. This is my army. Cal Drogo's marching the wrong way with my army. <laughs> if my brother was given an army of Dothraki, could you conquer the Seven Kingdoms? Possible. What happened to the dragons? I was told that brave men came from them. <laughs> Someday, your husband will sit there, and you will sit by his side. And one day, before too long, you will present your son to the court. All the lords of Westeros will gather here to see the little prince. What if I have a girl? Gods be good, you'll have boys and girls, and plenty of them. What if I only have girls? Well, if you only had girls, I suppose the throne would pass to Prince Joffrey's little brother. My grandfather and uncle were murdered here, weren't they? They were killed on the orders of King Aerys, yes. The Mad King? Commonly known as the Mad King. Why were they killed? You should speak to your father about these matters. I don't want to speak to my father, ever. Sansa, <laughs> you will find it in your heart to forgive your father. No, I won't. <laughs> Why? Because he killed him? He killed kill her wolf. Why is this the order of the king? Mm -hmm. I envy you northerners your summer snows. Till tomorrow, my lord. I've been hoping to talk to you about John Arryn. Lord Arryn? His death was a great sadness to all of us. Uh, I took personal charge of his care, but I could not save him. I saw him in my chamber just the night before he passed. Lord John often came to me for counsel. Why? came inquiring after a book. A book? What book? Hmm. The lineages and history of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms. 
What do you got? Chains around here? Yeah, there's some the Maester's chains. I think the rings symbolize like the more rings, the more knowledge you have, I guess. I don't really know. Did John Arryn tell you what he wanted with it? He did not, my lord. I did not presume to ask. John's death, such a tragedy. Did he say anything to you during his final hours? Nothing of import, my lord. Oh. There was one phrase he kept repeating. Uh, the seed is strong, I think it was. The seed is strong. What does that mean? And you're quite certain he died of a natural illness. Well, what else could it be? Poison. Disturbing thought. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't think it likely. But the hand was loved by all. What sort of man would dare? I've heard it said that poison is a woman's weapon. Yes. Women, cravens, and eunuchs. <laughs> Did you know that Lord Varys is a eunuch? Everybody knows that. Yes. <laughs> That's the bowhead man, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's she doing? Standing on one foot? No, oh, really. Now the Bran's awake, will he come live with us? He needs to get his strength back first. He wants to be knight of the King's Guard. He can't be one now, can he? No. But someday, he could be Lord of a Hold Fast. Can I be Lord of a Hold Fast? You will marry a High Lord and rule this castle. <laughs> no. That's not me. <laughs> That's your other daughter. <laughs> she knows what she wants to be. She don't want yeah. to be no housewife. Excuse me. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Why are you walking like that? Hello. Mm. Sir Alice has said I'm to be your new watch partner. Come stand by the fire. It's warmer. No, that's all right. I'm fine. You're not. You're freezing. <laughs> he said, no, that's all right. I'm fine. He's scared. <laughs> oh. Like high places. I don't like a lot. You can't fight. You can't see. <laughs> You're afraid of heights and almost everything else, probably. On the morning of my 18th name day, my father came to me. You're almost a man now, he said. But you're not worthy of my land and title. What? Tomorrow, you're going to take the black, forsake all claim to your inheritance and start north. If you do not, he said, then we'll have a hunt. And somewhere in these woods, your horse will stumble and you'll be thrown from your saddle to die. Well, that's a mean daddy. Yeah. This is going to make me fight again tomorrow, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> I'm not going to get any better, you know. You will if you practice. Uh, for real. Well, that's true. That <laughs> can't get much worse. <laughs> I hear you're reading a boring book. Hmm. I sell soaps too much. Oh, he never stops. Do you know Sir Hugh of the Vale? Where is Sir Hugh? I'll speak to him. A singularly bad idea. Do you see that boy there? And a parasite of birds. The spider has taken a great interest in your comings and goings. Now look, there. That one belongs to the Queen. And do you see that scepter pretending to read her book? Larissa the Queen. No, she's one of mine. 
<laughs> Is there someone in your service whom you trust completely? Yes. The wiser answer was no, my lord. After that, you might want him to visit a certain armorer in the city. I observe this, as I said, and it's possible that they saw Lord Aaron visit this armorer several times in the weeks before his death. Lord Baelish, perhaps I was wrong to distrust you. Distrusting me was the wisest thing you've done since you climbed off your horse. <laughs> Is he truthful? He said he can't trust me. <laughs> Everybody's shady up in this city. What did Lord Aaron want? I always came to see the boy. I'd like to see him as well. I, this is fine work. It's not for sale. Boy, this is the king's hand. When Lord Aaron came to visit you, what would he talk about? Just ask me questions, is all, my lord. What kind of questions? About my work, first. I was being treated well. I liked it here. Then he started asking me about my mother. Your mother? If she was, what she looked like. What did you tell him? She died when I was little. She had yellow hair. Look at me. What he see? To her weapon. What do you see? I'd rather wield a sword than forge one. You send him to me. Find anything? King Robert's bastard son. What? <laughs> I don't serve Lord Stark. That was a simple yes or no answer. <laughs> so he makes him sit there. Yeah. I mean, what there's of you doing, your sister? I Nasty. Know. I mean, he probably know. That's probably why he messing around. I'm her friend. I don't think Robert knows. I think Robert's just. A Oblivious to everything because he's always too drunk to <laughs> notice what's going on around him. Sounds no different from the rest of us. There's no place for him in the world, so he's come here. You're not going to hurt him in the training yard anymore. Never again, no matter what Thorne says. He's our brother now, and we're going to protect him. You are in love, Lord Snow. <laughs> you girls can do as you please. But if Thorn puts me up against Lady Piggy, I'm going to slice me off the side of me. <laughs> oh, I just don't like him. He can just knock him in his head, you know. He's like, boop. Yeah, he's a... There's some unfriendly people in the world. <laughs> like the army days right there. Good boy. <laughs> they a blanket party right there. What are you waiting for? Attack him! <laughs> like what? What's that? You get in there. <laughs> For real? He said you. You think this is funny? <laughs> when you're out there, beyond the wall with the sun going down, do you want a man at your back or a sniveling boy? <laughs> kind of got a point. <laughs> what the heck? You sent this call to give me commands. I should have sent you back her head. He's got an attitude issue problem. You do not command I me. I wasn't commanding you. 
Sorry, I just wanted to invite you to supper. What is? It's a gift. I had it made for you. Stop backing around. You're going to dress me now. Please. This stinks of manure. All of it. Stop. Stop you would it. turn me into one of them, wouldn't you? Next, I want to braid my hair. You have no right to a braid. You've won no victories yet. Oh, he's he is a spore. Yeah. Welcome, what dragon? He's supposed yeah. to be a dragon. I am Akalithi of the Dothraki. I am the wife of the great Carl, and I carry his son inside me. The next time, <laughs> <you will see. laughs> will be the come on, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Be his tail. Whoop his ass, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a Oh my god. He had that Joffrey face. Huh? Scared little bitch face. <laughs> what? We can't defend the wall unless we celebrate. <laughs> you gotta be celibate. <laughs> Didn't think it would bother you that much. They're not, they're not allowed to. Why not? Have heirs up there. Oh really? Yeah. It's part of the oath. They can't have any lands or have any heirs or. What's my name? Jon Snow. And why is my surname Snow? Because you're a bastard from the north. I never met my mother. I'd be very interested to see who his mother is. If she alive or what. I spent six months out there, beyond the wall, during the last winter. And we got caught in the open. Wind so strong, it yanked hundred foot trees straight from the ground, roots and all. You took your gloves off to find your cock to have a piss. You lost a finger to the mm. frost. What happened to you? That's really cold. <laughs> Well, if your finger fell off, what happened to your... <laughs> Wouldn't it fall off too? <laughs> the boy is still. And come the winter, he will die. Like flies. So he came in there just to tell him that story? Yeah. I hit the dragon. Your brother Rhaegar was the last dragon. Viserys is less than the shadow of a snake. He is still the true king. Home. I pray for home too. My brother will never take back the Seven Kingdoms. He couldn't lead an army even if my husband gave him one. Mm -hmm. Lead a fly to honey. What? You couldn't lead a fly to honey. <laughs> Sansa, dear, this is Lord Baelish. He's no an old friend of the family. I've known your mother a long, long time. Why do they call you Littlefinger? Arya, don't be rude. No, it's quite all right. When I was a child, I was very small. And I come from a little spit of land called the Fingers, so you see. <laughs> I've been sitting here for days! Start the damn joust before I piss myself. Good lord. <laughs> Sir Gregor Clegane. They call him the Mountain. The Hound's older brother. <laughs> and his opponent. Sir Hugh of the Vale. Damn lamps. Why is armor better than his? You know what I mean? Huh? I said the the one in the black armor looked better than his. Oh, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Right?
right in front of the kids too. Yeah. Has anyone ever told you the story of the mountain and the hound? The hound is just a pup. Six years old, maybe. Well, they like saying, old, telling old, stories in this show, don't they? Oh, yeah. lad already getting a bit of a reputation. Some lucky boy is just born with a talent for violence. One evening, Gregor found his little brother playing with a toy by the fire. Gregor never said a word. He just grabbed his brother by the scruff of his neck and shoved his face into the burning coals. Held him there while the boy screamed, while his face melted. Hmm. There aren't very many people who know that story. Why are you trying to scare her? Really? Look at her face. <laughs> now he know he wrong for telling that girl this. She yeah. little scary thing anyway. Oh, Grace. You're missing your tournament. Put my name on it doesn't make it mine. Yeah, how is Salsa? She likes it here. What are you doing here? I might ask the same of you. What is it you hope to accomplish? The king called on me to serve him and the realm. And that's what I'll do until he tells me otherwise. You're just a soldier, aren't you? You take your orders and you carry on. Sit here. Your older brother was trained to lead and you were trained to follow. I was also trained to kill my enemies, your grace. As was I. So that's her little way of saying this. You my enemy. Mm -hmm. I can't trust nobody up in that city. I'm sorry, my lord. We'll fill up every room. My men can sleep in the stable. As for myself, I don't require a large room. Truly, my lord. We have nothing. Is there nothing I can do to remedy this? You can have my room. Now there's a clever man. Lady Stark. What an unexpected <laughs> pleasure. I was sorry to miss you at Winterfell. Lady Stark. You, sir. Is that the black bat of Harrenhal I see embroidered on your coat? It is for Lady. And is Lady Went a true and honest friend to my father? Lord Hoster Tully of Riverrun? Yes, he is. <laughs> Lady Stark, but I don't quite see the purpose of this. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing all this? This man came into my house as a guest and there conspired to murder my son, a boy of ten. In the name of King Robert and the good lords you mm -hmm. serve, I call upon you to seize him. What? And help me return him to Winterfell to await the king's justice. Oh, Lord. That's crazy. Yep. He like, what? He's like, what? What? <laughs> What's going like, on? What are you talking about? That was a good one. Oh, no. It's starting oh, no. to heat up now. It's starting to heat up now. So pretty much saying, you know, hey, you my enemy. They pretty much kind of telling me yeah, so. where they stand at. Huh? They pretty much um, the queen and Ned pretty much telling each other where they stand at. Yeah. I was trained to kill my enemies. She says. As I was too. Yeah. So, I, I mean, why didn't want him? If Robert brought him there, why she got a problem with him? She got a problem with everybody. That's not a lie, sir. Well, then she need to go back to her daddy then. Well, it's like uh, she told Joffrey, like anybody who's not one of us is an enemy. But I like that, but you know, Lady uh, Lady Lady Stark at the end. Tyrion like Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion. Tyrion, he like, okay, why is that like wait, what's all this? 
have a clue what was going on. No. But she did that because that little finger yeah. told her that that was Tyrion's Tyr- Tyr- knife or yeah. dagger. Hmm. I'm wondering, was it really his? Or was it? He just. I, he, I don't know. I don't know about little thing because he looked like he little. I can't trust him. I really can't. I, I can't trust none of that council man. I don't think you. That's about to, I don't think you trust any of them. Cause they all the look weaselly and yeah. no good and all. Ugh. They all have their own agenda. But that was a good one. Okay, I can stick with this. But now, but did you see that guy? The, the, yeah. Oh my God. That, that was the guy that Ned, the, the, Ned wanted to talk to. Yeah. That was doing a little counting. Yeah. To ask but why did he want to talk to him? About John Aaron's death. Oh. Do you so? Do you think they killed him on Slaw? Who? The Lannisters. Who killed John Aaron? No, the guy. The no, he just. No, that just happened. Oh. That just happened. They didn't. I don't think they. I don't think they planned for that to happen because. But that death suck. But he was like, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> like, that yeah. was like crazy. <laughs> that was big old thick sticking in your throat. Like that was crazy. Yeah. But yes, I like that one. Yeah. All right. And old, old Miss Sans is getting a nice taste of capital life mm-hmm. she doesn't seem too enthused about it now as mm-hmm. she was in the first couple of episodes but she gave what she wants so I never wanted how much you want it now <laughs> I was gonna stink but probably still want it I don't care well thank you guys for joining us on this episode season one episode four yeah it is a thumbs up for me um, <laughs> comment below. Y'all need to look. Don't do spoilers for me, but give me a little bit some more backstory. Yeah, you can about get, these people. Give her some uh, fill her in on some knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> without trying to spoil everything. <laughs> Thank you guys again. Hit the like, subscribe button, and comment below. See you guys later.